Good day everyone, Ace here from Ace of Space Astrophotography. In today's video, I'd like to show you how I animate uh, Comet Atlas. So I already did the video on uh, how I uh, captured the uh, still images uh, for Atlas. So now I'm going to do a little am animation. I captured these images on uh, April 11th and 12th. And there are 347 images. Um, they're 30 second exposures, just a little uh, over uh, three hours um, of exposure time. So the first thing I did was I went into uh, PixInsight. So in PixInsight, I ran uh, the dynamic crop and then I did the batch process and it, and it applies dynamic crop to all 347 images. Then I applied uh, an automatic background extraction and I did that to all the images. And I tried doing um, noise reduction but it didn't work out too well. Um, I wanted to do multi-scale median transform because it cleaned the image up really nice, but I got 347 images and it takes 15 minutes for the MMT to uh, process. So that would take a long time and I wasn't gonna spend that much time. All right, so, but it still came out quite nice, the uh, animation, even without the noise reduction. So after I did the, the dynamic crop, the automatic background extraction, I had to make the images go uh, from linear to uh, non-linear. So basically, here's what the image looks like. So this is still, uh, which one here? Okay, so it's still in the linear format. So basically what you do is you have to do the auto stretch and you can tell it's in a linear format with the uh, green line that's here. So basically what I was doing is just take the auto stretch off. You hit the auto stretch button here. Take the triangle from the screen transfer function and put it onto the histogram. And then apply it. And then reset the uh, screen transfer function. And there, now it's nonlinear. So I had to do that for each image. So just do the screen transfer function. Little triangle from the screen transfer onto the histogram. Run it. Reset it. Now it's nonlinear. So I had to do that for all 347 images. So then once I was done with that, then before before I did the next image, obviously I came up here and I went save as and then saved it to wherever it was. So now once I had all those now once I had all those images um saved, they were still XISF files for uh Picks in sight, so I turned them all into uh, JPEGs, and then I just did the batch process, and it turned all 347 images into uh, JPEGs. So once, so once I was done, oh yeah, and then I ran. Sorry, after that I ran uh, curves transformation on all the images just to clean it up a little bit. So once I was done there, I went into my um, m movie editing software. I use uh, Vegas Pro 13. So basically all I did was I just go to file, open, there's the first JPEG, come across, shift, open, there, now it's adding all 347 images in. It's about, it's an 11 second animation, 347 images gave me an 11 second uh, uh, animation video file. So basically all I did, all I have to do here is just, oh, let's, let's go back to the beginning here. Okay, we're at the beginning, so let's go full screen and hit the space bar. And there's the animation of Comet Atlas. I think it turned out pretty cool. So that's uh, basically uh, how I uh, did the animation. So if you have any questions, uh, put them down in the comments there and I uh, hope everybody's uh, staying safe out there. Ace out.